Okay, so um, I kind of like went through this um, uh, issues that I was running into. <clears throat> um, it looks like uh, there's a problem with the with the way that we are installing flash uploads here because it, it installs that on a different path from what um, what happens on cloud nine. So there's a couple of things that I'm uh, that I had to do here that I want to like uh, let you guys know and, and document. One is that um, the flash uploads package wasn't properly installed. So I, what I did was I did pip install our requirements within the container uh, for a second time to make sure that it was kind of like installing everything. And um, so then I, I saw this message pop up saying successfully installed flash uploads. So that, that is the, well, one thing that you wanna, might, might want to do before you try out uh, running the application if you see some error regarding flash uploads. The second thing is that um, the way that it installs flash of loads, it's no longer with this path that we had initially here on the uh, init py, which was this uh, flash of loads dot uploads. Um, and I think that it runs now without the second upload. So if you do that from flash uploads, import upload set, configure, that should run properly, but I'm gonna like find out right now. So. So make sure you save the file there. And so let's try this out um, and um, kind of like see what, what happens here. So the first things I'm gonna do is, is just run the shell to see if, if that if that uh, connects. And perfect, it, it ran well. Before I was getting this error saying that flash uploads wasn't properly done. So here I have um, definitely have the um, the application running, um, I mean, at least instantiating on the shell. Um, the other thing that, um, that you might notice is that we're, uh, in this case, we're running on Python uh, 2.7. And that's what the CentOS uh, image that I picked initially, um, that's the default Python set. I'm not sure if the, there's a newer CentOS version. Uh, maybe at this point, maybe there's a CentOS 8, but I'll leave you guys to find that out. Uh, that maybe comes with Python 3 as the as the default, but for that Python, <clears throat> for that CentOS image 7.0, definitely Python 2.7 was still the default. And um, making it uh, Python 3 would entail kind of like complicated things uh, that I, I don't want to get into necessarily. In theory, the application should run fine under Python 2.7, but um, I guess we're going to have to find that out um, in the in the you know next few kind of like um, steps that we're going to take. But uh, so having said that, um, the other thing that that I want to make sure is that we need to um, uh, create the database so that we can we can do the um, the operations with the database. So uh, let's see how we do that. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is create the uh, block database because we don't have it um, set up. So um, I'm outside, uh, I have, um, I did exit on the, on the block container. And um, here I can see that the, the two containers are still running, the MariaDB and the Flask blog. And uh, I'm going to show you a trick to be able to connect to the um, to the database. And the way you do that is you use the following. Um, you do um, um, docker exec it db, which is the container name, name and then bin bash. And now, right now, we're inside of the the uh, the Docker container. But now we need to do um, kind of like a hack to be able to um to get into the 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 terminal of the of the database and the way you do that is you use the following you do export um term equals dollar sign and then uh curly brackets uh term and then dash dump and that will allow you to have a kind of like a terminal variable set, which is required for 
the MySQL command to run. Uh, this is kind of like uh, something that you you don't need to like understand very well. It's just like um, it's a it's a workaround to be able to connect to the MySQL um, a database within the container. So now we're gonna do um, MySQL user root dash p, and then it'll ask for the password. It's test, so just type test, and we're inside the the the, the, the database. So if I do show databases and I'll see that I have information schema, my test user DB, which is the one we created when we did the test and my SQL and performance schema. So what we want to do is we want to create the database uh, for our blog application. So we do create database blog. Perfect. Let me show databases again, just to make sure there's the blog. So, um, so we can exit from here. So just do exit and then exit again. And we're back on a, on our terminal. So let's go back to the, um, to the blog application. And remember it's Docker exec it blog bash. So we're, we're back inside. And what we want to do now is we want to, um, do the, migration um, in it um, so that we create the tables with the with all the kind of like the models of our application so the way we do that I'm gonna um, do the following I'll erase the versions that I have here and that PyCache as well and so that will put the the um, the migrations into a kind of like init initial kind of like uh, basis, right? And uh, if you remember from Flask Migrate, uh, we need to do DB init first so that uh, the versions are um, kind of like initialized. So let's see if that runs. So I'm going to do Python manage py um, db init. Um, so it says migrations already exist. So I need to um, basically I need to delete this this folder altogether. So I'll delete that, <clears throat> and let's run it again. Okay, so that worked. Now I have the migrations, and remember that we had this little edit. They need to edit this mvy um, with compare type equals true see no uh, oh, I think it's it's already said that's weird maybe they fixed that on the on the latest migrate remember that we had to put this compare type equals true so I think that looks that looks okay now um, but I just had copied and pasted this in case we needed to to add that so I guess we don't need that anymore and delete this um okay so we have the version so now we need to do the migrate and that's where the actual um tables should be created so let's hope this works perfect it looks like um it looks like it's um it created the proper things uh let's see the versions so i have the versions here well, I guess he hasn't done it on the database. It just created the um, the definitions for the author, category, blog, and post. Okay, so now, really, this is it. We're going to do upgrade, which means it needs to talk to the database and create the tables. And, wow, looks like it worked. Amazing. So that's good. That's good. That's, that's a good sign. So that means that our tables potentially or hopefully are created on the on the database container. So um, the last thing we, we are going to do now is uh, run the application and see if it's if it's running. 